Hello, my name is Hannah Pham and I'm here at Palo Alto Networks. Today we heard a bunch of speakers this afternoon and one of my favorites spoke on tips for resumes, specifically my I had a question for the resume design wise and he mentioned about a bot called ATS, I believe, which basically runs through all the resumes and he recommended to make them to design them in a standard way rather than putting uh, unique touches on it otherwise it would get cancelled by the bot and I thought that is very significant especially in my future careers when I wanted to apply for different companies and there's also another speaker which would be the last one I really appreciate his examples with Xbox and the PlayStation. The other speakers didn't include specific examples to connect with the audience, and that's why those two are my favorite speakers. Hi, uh, my name is Sean Hancock. I'm here at Palo Alto Network. Today we're learning and listening to the speakers uh, in a panel at Polo Networks. They're teaching us about their experience and um, their knowledge they have on how how to, how to get here to where they where they are. And to me, the speaker that stood out the most was this one. He came from uh, Cal Poly, or that's where he studied, but. He didn't even start in the field of cybersecurity. He started with biomedical and engineering, but he found that he didn't enjoy the things he liked, but at the end of it, he still found... Um, he found through the process what he enjoys. And to me, and to me, I think, I think that's something that um, everyone can think about when they when they're struggling to find what it is that they want to do. Hey there, I'm Sadia Plumley. I'm a freshman at Mountain View High School. And right now I'm part of this field trip during spring break to be at Palo Alto Networks, which is a cybersecurity company. Today we're just learning a bit about um, the, the workers' experiences here and how they got into cybersecurity and computer science, what their pathways are. We asked a bunch of panel members, because they had two panels of five members each, and we just asked them a bunch of questions about like what were their experiences and how are their hours and stuff like that. Just if they can have a life and if they like their jobs. Personally, I found the beekeeper guy the most interesting just because, well, the beekeeping part. He said he had an interest in beekeeping and he also integrated that into computer science. And also it was um, the fact that <laughs> the fact that he had probably the most interesting pathway to me. I would usually expect someone to go through computer science and then like just immediately get into a company, but he done he had done IT for a while. And I don't know, it just seems pretty bizarre to me that you can start from like answering calls and helping people like that and then somehow make it to cybersecurity. Hi, my name is Santo Quintero and we're here at Palo Alto Networks. Today we're here learning about the career paths and specialties of our guest speakers on the panel. The speaker that stuck out to me the most was someone who was talking about beekeeping. They said that he needs to have a work-life balance and I thought that, that was really important as they said burnout is here in all of us and if we work too hard we'll get unmotivated to work. My name is Shayla Luong and we are here today at Palo Alto Networks. 
Today we were able to listen to some guest speakers from Palo Alto Networks talk about their career and the company itself and we got to learn a lot and ask a lot of questions and it was really informative. The woman guest speakers like stood out to me the most because when they were asked what kind of advice they would give their past selves. She talked about not giving attention to people who don't care about you back and that distracted but in a good way from the computer science stuff and it felt like it was drawing me back into the presentation because to be honest I was starting to lose my focus but that really resonated with me and I really appreciated hearing it because it was something it's something that I know but I've experienced before and it's nice to hear it when someone else has that experience too especially someone in like a good like someone an adult you know